Hey everybody, welcome to my newest tutorial. This will be on tracking a scene in Buju and compositing it into 3ds Max slash Cinema 4D and the final product in After Effects. And we'll be starting and ending in After Effects. The three programs you'll need is 3ds Max, After Effects, and Buju. And we shall get started. First thing you need is a clip and you can't import a video file into Buju, you need a sequence, which is what After Effects is needed for. Uh, in the description, I'll have a download link for anything needed for this tutorial, including the footage that we will be using. And just drag it into After Effects. Okay, so now we have the file. And drag it in. And it is a WMV. Quality isn't a matter in this situation, it's just to get you started. And as you can see, it scrolls through, and we will be importing our text right along here. And let's get started. Okay, so the only thing you need to do in After Effects right now, just import it and render it out. So go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and select on Best Settings, and click JPEG Sequence, and um, load this, put Format Options, make sure the quality is at 10. Biggest file possible. Click OK, click OK, click render. I'll be back when this is done. Never mind. Just remember to click output and put it to wherever you want your output to be. And make sure, make sure you have a new file. If you don't have a new file, a new folder, hold on. If you don't have a new folder, if you put this on your desktop, you will have, this is 300 frames long, you have 300 images on your desktop, and this is not a good thing, so just name this Narrows JPEG, and click Save, and then you can render, and it is a pretty fast render because that's all it is, and I will be back when this is, okay, so the render is just finishing up, and I hear the uh, bring sound that it's finished. So, we have it rendered. So, now if you go into your folder, where you saved it, you'll see all 300, once it loads, 300 frames. So, next thing you have to do, minimize or exit After Effects. I'm going to close it. You don't have to save because you did next to nothing. And while that's exiting, I'm going to load Buju. And this is Buju 4 if you've never used it. This is all you need to track it. This is the best tutorial. Whoa. One of the best because honestly, there's not many Buju tutorials out there. The best is probably Video Copilot. So, the first thing you need to do is click Import Sequence and look for wherever it is. It usually goes to Pictures as default. And click the first one. Oh, oh, oh. Click Open. And 0299, not interlaced, free move. Click OK. And now you have your sequence in Buju. And the first thing I want you to do right away is go to Setup, Edit Camera, and make sure the frame rate is proper. Ours is at 30 frames per second, and click OK. So I'll just make sure it's will be a proper track. Okay, so first thing you want to do, next thing you want to do is click Track Features to the left. Sorry, that's my cat. Shut up. Click Advanced, and you'll get a sensitivity bar, and drag this down. This just selects better points. You don't want too many points. And click Start, and I will be back when this is finished. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's tracked. And all these points are tracking points. If I zoom in, you can see uh, that's not really important right now. What is important is that we move on to the next step, which is solving the camera. Solve the camera basically, it takes all these tracking points and it assesses the scene and it makes the scene 3D using the tracking points and um, yeah, so basically creates a scene out of the points so you can export the data properly into 3ds Max. So we're going to click camera solve and double click on both of these and just make the uh, track a bit better, the solve, click start, and I'll be back when this is done. 
Okay, sorry guys, I guess when I'm recording in a small boxed area with Fuji, it has to change it. So I had to make this a little bigger so it might, this screen might appear squished right now. But it shouldn't be that much. I tried to make it as close as possible. So now you see we all have all these dots. And now if you go into the 3D view, you can see it made a 3D scene out of everything. If you hold shift, you can rotate around with the mouse. And back there's the mountains. This little thing is right click to zoom with shift. This thing is that little bump and narrows. And the first thing you want to do, we're going to fix this up a little bit, go to 3D tasks, assess the lens distortion automatic, click that, assess radio. And it just switched again. Oh my god. Every time I click something, okay, so I assessed, click accept and adjust, accept and adjust. So I feel see the whole screen right now, Buddha is being pretty horrible. So I'm going to try and uh, switch this in when it's done loading. I'm going to pause the video, I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully you can see the whole screen now. So now that I just, there isn't much distortion in Halo's camera that just fixes it up a bit. And the second thing is go to 3D tasks, solve tools, and filter structure. And set it to about 50. And what this does is, as you can see, it removes all of the bad tracks. And it keeps the better portion of the good tracks, so you have only good tracks now, or better than the other ones. So this just makes it easier to work with. And now, if you go into 3D, it should still be the same, but you can tell that this is a flat plane and this is on an angle, and you want it to be flat. So to fix that, first you have to find, you have to go to Scene Geometry and add an x-axis. But so click that. And before we do that, we have to find two points that are flat along each other. And the two I found in this scene is this corner. And if you scrub through, don't ignore all these green dots. My program likes to do that. I only have one selected right now. Scrub through and press Control and select that corner. And now you can click Scene Geometry and add coordinate from Hint. And you'll get this. And down here, change the type. Let's make sure you can see this. Change the type from origin to x-axis. And he says two currently selected, so connect to the selected. And now we have an x-axis, an update. So now it says, okay, so this is the, so from that point to that point is the x-axis. Axis. So go back to 3D, and now you see it's perfectly leveled on the plane. So, we have everything done for part one. This is the conclusion for Buju. This is all you need if you ever want to do a 3D track in for the Buju stage of it. So, next you want to do is go export, export camera solve, and make sure everything's good. Scale the scene up to make it easier to work with, and make sure it's saved for here. Make, uh, make sure you know where you're saving it. Uh, I'm just going to copy mine into my folder. So now it's saved here and I'll save it as track one and click save. And now you have it saved in 3ds Max for 3ds Max and part two will be coming up.